Grace, mercy, and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Eli, and I wanted to take a moment of time to do a teaching on a word today. And it's actually an identity uh, that is called a proselyte. What is a proselyte? Now, we don't find this particular word or this identity mentioned in the Old Testament. However, it is mentioned in the New. And I'm going to give you uh, a verse uh, where we find the term referenced, as well as the other verses that you can go and do uh, research and, and study uh, to corroborate with you know the terminology of the proselyte. When in Matthew chapter 23, verse 15, the scripture says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So what is this term, the proselyte? Well, it comes from the Greek word proselutos, proselutos, P-R-O-S-E-L-U-T-O-S, -E proselutos. And the term means a newcomer, newcomer, excuse me, or one who is now a new convert. You know, in most instances, uh, people are usually sold to one way of belief when it comes to either sports or they're sold to one way of belief in politics or they're sold to one way of belief when it comes to religion, spirituality, etc. But usually when they are able to be persuaded or convinced to change their mind and shift their views to another way of seeing things, they are now a new convert, which is called a proselyte. So even when we look it up in the Greek proselytos, it means a person who has been converted from one opinion or religion or party to another. So now... As you look once again at Matthew 23, 15, for instance, it says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites, for you can pass sea and land, or you go further than, than sea and land in order to make people to be converts to your way of thinking, to make them uh, be converts or cause them to become shifted in their opinion to endorse the way that you believe or the way that you think. And then he says, and when it is made, you make them a twofold more child of hell than yourselves. Because some people will become so convicted and convinced by what their new way of thinking is that they've been converted to, that sometimes they'll be more sold into it or sold out to it than the person that converted them. And if it is a wrong conversion that has happened on their life, then in most instances, it's going to cause them more uh, damage than it does the one who did the converting. So, so in that, this is the term, the proselyte uh, that you find in the Bible. And the only other verses that I can give you as references for this same terminology is Acts chapter 2, verse 10, chapter 6, verse 5, and chapter 13, verse 43. So with that being said, I pray this has been a profound teaching of revelation for you as you question what is a proselyte so that hopefully this will be able to edify you in your continual journey and your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, amen, and amen be unto you.